Hello everybody, hope that you are well and welcome to this spontaneous live stream that I have for you all tonight. Um, basically, I just have, if I'm honest, I have some free time this evening, Saturday I believe it is, no? Saturday, have some free time. And I thought, you know what, I'll give back to the community in some way. So I was going to do a Ask Me Anything, essentially. What this, what this means is simply in the title, Ask Me Anything. So have any any questions <laughs> that you may be intrigued um, to know about, then yeah, that's what you can ask me right now. Uh, this is your opportunity to ask, and I shall give. Um, so yeah, that's that's what it is tonight. I hope that you are all very well. I personally am very well. Uh, thanks for asking. Um, I just got off the back of doing a one and a half hour podcast, and this is a free podcast for everybody. So uh, it's not my podcast; it's it's Charles. Uh, I'll link it. Uh, you know, I'll put it on the social medias when it's released, which should be Monday. Uh, so you can also all look forward to to that if it is of any interest of to you at all. Uh, you can also look forward to that. Um, you know, if you have an hour and a half free, you can listen to the whole one and a half hour podcast that will be coming uh, Monday. So that's that's my day, pretty much what I've done so far. Uh, buenos días, buenos días, bueno, depende de dónde vives. Buenos buenos días o buenas noches. Espero que estáis todos bien. Um, Je, je parle un peu de français, espagnol et anglais. So let's begin, everybody. Hope that you are well. And uh, yeah, you can ask me some questions if you would like to ask any questions. <laughs> um, so yeah, what am I looking at here? Well, obviously, there's a few things going on on the Bitcoin chart. I mean, really simply, we, we obviously still have going on this this beautiful harmonic, which is in, in place still. OK, so. I'm in a few different positions at, at the moment. I still have my short open from uh, literally 9612. So 9612, I, I still maintain that short at the moment. Okay, and that's because we have the possibility of this being a, a really major high. It's a lovely harmonic. But also, uh, I'm in a day trade long position. Okay, so I'm more of a swing, swing short. But I'm looking for a day trade, another push up here. Okay, so um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go into too much depth. But basically, I see the possibility... Of us basically uh, coming up to run, run some of these highs, okay? So maybe that is just a swing failure, okay? But I would actually prefer a little bit more than that. I would prefer a little bit more than that. That actually goes something like this. Runs us up into the bottom of the channel, okay? That's kind of what I would like, if 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 at all possible. But that does mean breaking out of this out of these lower highs, which is going on. And obviously that would give you a harmonic, something like this, okay? This is perfectly valid, okay? So this harmonic can move up to this level. OK, um, so this is what I'm watching, the possibility, the possibility of uh, something like this. OK, maybe take these lows, come back up like this and we'll, we'll get the top of our C uh, basically adjusted slightly. Uh, so that's what I'm aware of right now. What does that need to do? OK, obviously what we do have going on uh, to bl bring you down at the moment is, is pretty simple, isn't it? Really? It's this. OK, resistance, 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 resistance. That's four touches. That's what you need to break. Um so yeah, that's kind of how I'm trading Bitcoin short from the medium term time frame perspective. But I would personally like to see um, run up, run up of the highs. Okay, maybe just this high. So maybe it's just saying like this. But I would prefer something like this running up into the top of the bottom of the channel. Uh, I, I know many people that are um, short. To be honest with you, it seems like a lot of people are short, and their invalidation is this is 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 is, is seven thousand nine thousand seven fifty. So it would be brilliant, basically. Uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm a bit mean, but I would find it brilliant to stop everybody out before we got to move down. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm a bit cautious because obviously I'm bearish on the medium term. So I'm, I'm cautiously playing this long. I see the opportunity to run some games, essentially. Because that's, that, that's all this is now. This is this is just Wells having some fun on a weekend. Um, that's what I would kind of like to occur. Get a little bit of low volume, move up into this. We'll see how it goes. Uh, if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. But that's what I would kind of like, if I'm honest with you. Or that's how some position from a day trade perspective. Okay. Um, but what's I guess what's important to acknowledge is my first my first long position was filled down at the lows here. So I've I've got a I've got quite a lot of space. Well, my overall fill is now actually from around these over. I, I compounded my long, so that did bring up my average fill higher higher than what lower than what it is now, but nevertheless higher. Uh, but yeah, my first fill was off off this monthly. That monthly has obviously been perfect, hasn't it? I mean. You all know that's the monthly we've been going off of for the last month, and it's been perfect. And it's still support, so bearish. You know, obviously we'll be breaking down back below that monthly. Okay, so um, you know it's it's really clear what's what's happening at the moment, and and that's why my trading plan's pretty well defined. Know what I'm doing, know what I'm looking for, and ask me anything. <laughs> so let's go.
Um, let me see what is going up here, ladies and gentlemen. Howdy, fellas. Hello, 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 fellow kings. Can't wait to join the champions next week. Oh, it'll be nice to read that. It'll be an absolute pleasure to have you along. Uh, buenas tardes. Uh, buenas tardes, amigo. BGC drop, dump, and pump, and dump. Um, well, I would put, I would like to see a little bit of a move up before down, but we'll, we'll wait and see if this this occurs. Um, what's up, fam? What's on? <laughs> um, uh, da 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 da. Uh, BGG, what's up? You won't regret it. Uh, yeah, I, I agree. You probably <laughs> you shouldn't regret it. Um, trying to get the money. Da 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 da. Ah, greetings from Venezuela. How howdy. Um. Trading routine. I mean, my trading routine has changed a little bit recently. Uh, so the thing is, I, I used to be a guy of, with a lot a lot of free time on my hands. But um, naturally, you know, with time, uh, with age, I suppose, I, I have more um, more responsibilities, per se. Uh, so, yeah, I, I kind of find myself with less and less free time nowadays. But, um, yeah, basically, my, my trading routine is pretty similar to what it's always been. So I generally like wake up in the mornings. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty strict on myself. I used to be more strict on myself. So my routine would, would always used to be wake up around 7 a.m. OK, wake up at 7 a.m., do my pre-market scans anywhere between 7, 7 and, 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 and 7.15. I used to used to wake up. This was and I don't generally don't do this anymore, but I used to be very strict on myself waking up 7, 7.15 uh, to get ready for the uh, UK market open pre-market, get, you know, trade the U UK market open. OK, um, you know, and obviously before before I trade the open of this, I wanted to do my analysis naturally. So, you know, review what's going on over the night before. Uh, you know, generally speaking, I'm pretty up to date always on my analysis. So I'll be ready in the morning from the night before, generally speaking, unless there was, um, you know, some, 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 something that's happened overnight. But yeah, no. So generally speaking, yeah, wake up around 7 a.m. Okay, get ready, do some analysis, have some breakfast, take a shower, be at my computer ready for the open. Okay, this was more when I was trading stock market, so I'm not so strict on myself, cryptocurrency 24 market. But, um, you know, I try and keep to the same more or less, but I'm a little bit lenient on myself where I won't won't bother waking up. Sometimes I won't wake up till 12, 12 o'clock in the day, one o'clock. So it kind of depends. I, I'll generally leave it more for an alert. If, if an alert goes off, then I'll be awake for it. But if, if no alert goes off, then I'm a little bit more relaxed on myself. Now I trade cryptocurrency because it is 24 hours. The, the London Open is not massively so important for me anymore, you know. So sometimes I'll be awake for it, sometimes I won't. I'm a little bit more lenient on myself. But um yeah, stock market, I used to be very strict on myself. So my daily routine would would basically be this from, from you know 7 a.m. Uh, you know, get ready, do my analysis, uh, get ready for the trades, take a quick shower, have some breakfast, come over to the trade. We're dropping right now, by the way. This is not really uh so worrying, but you can clearly see we're dropping right now. Um, the low 20, I, I, I have another, I had, ah, oh, might've hit on by a bit. So I had $27 and we hit, oh, the low here is 44. So we need to drop a bit more. I have, oh, there we go. So I would have, I would have actually got another order filled here, by the way. So I was, I'm laddering into this long. but obviously I'm in a short overall, but yeah, I had a, I had an order set at for $27, another one. So we'll have to see if this rebounds. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on in my life. And, um, so yeah, that my routine was essentially that I would wake up, do some analysis, have some breakfast, trade the UK market open. Okay. Generally be, be, be like scop trading the open for maybe, uh, you know, anywhere between 15 minutes, one hour. So then, then I would kind of take the, take the pedal off, take the steam off after, after the hourly, uh, open. I used to love the volatility of the open, take a little step back. And uh, see whether I wanted to resume trading the rest of the day or not. Uh, and yeah, that, that's quite simply that. Um, and yeah, then it kind of depended on the rest of my day. I, I used to give myself more strict targets where if I if I met a certain target, then I would go, um, I would go, da -da 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 trying to find a word here. I, I would either continue trading or stop trading. Nowadays, I just, just trade until I don't want to trade anymore, really. really. So yeah, that is that question. Uh, what else did we have in here? So low volume games. Essentially, yeah, this is, you know, the week, what I mean by this is, um, the, the the weekend is really really low volume so it doesn't take a lot of money to move the market up and move the market down so you see these like really quick moves like 
big wicks to the downside, big wicks to the upside. And it's just because the market, it, the order books are thin. So I generally don't really trade the weekends. If I'm honest, like generally speaking, I'm not trading the weekends. I, I take them off. So um, that's just because I, I would prefer to, to take the weekend off. The, the weekend has less volume. So you naturally, if you trade on the weekends, you have to lower your position sizes. Like if I wanted to trade a whole position size, uh, I could, but it's harder to fill. So I generally just can't be bothered to try and trade the weekends. Uh, <laughs> um, dump it down to 944. Well, you got lower than that. We've, we, we just hit a low of 9. Three nine three nine two. So yeah, this this is obviously coming down, but you did have bearish divergences at this high. Okay, so this you had a lot of bearish divergences at these highs. So that's obviously playing out now. So you're getting that retrace. Um. So yeah, you are getting that retrace. And well, that would that would. I mean, this is the thing. This monthly for me is the important level. What ha what's happening in and around here is not so, not so big. But um, yeah, let's continue. Um, another guy from Venezuela. Hola, amigo. Um, Mexico. Hola. Um, yeah, Ethereum's been crazy. Like, Ethereum has been so bullish. And if you're in my champions group, you will notice uh, straight away. Where, where's my buy on this chart? Ask any champion member and they will be able to tell you this. My buy was the low of this monthly. I'm riding Ethereum here. I'm literally riding Ethereum from from the lows. And this is how amazingly good my monthly levels are, period. Uh, I managed to buy the literally, literally the low on Ethereum. So yeah, I'm, I'm happily watching this rise in price, uh, if I'm honest with you. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm long and strong on Ethereum. Uh, so God, God bless you, ETH. And yeah, this is this is lovely. So essentially, I'm I'm looking up for around a top monthly. We blasted straight through this middle monthly. I I reckon you I reckon you still got another uh, about two 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 percent to go on ETH before maybe you turn back around. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for there. And look at this, we're seeing the long lower wick form here on Bitcoin. So I had a, I had the other order uh, nine four two seven. So yeah, I could have got a little bit of a better entry, but. You know, it's the weekend. I'm, I'm not going to really cry if I get stopped out of the position, if I'm totally honest. But we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, maybe it wins. Um, thank you for giving your time. No worries at all. You know, it's been it's it, I like to do these. So I like to do these live streams. I wish I could do them more. But if I'm like blatant honest, I just first I have like I just don't have the time to do these random live streams. Generally speaking, you're, you're it's lucky it's the lockdown because my f Saturday nights are generally not uh, doing live streams. Um but not that I don't enjoy them, but I'm I'm in front of my computer all day every day, so <laughs> uh, I like to take them off really. Um, da -da 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 -da. What balance do we need to start creating trading cryptocurrency? So really, really good question. Okay, and I I humbly believe that you you should not really be starting to trade if you, if you don't have a lot of money. Why do I say this? Well, firstly, uh, you, you cannot trade with more than what you're really w willing to risk. Okay. So you have to acknowledge that every trade that you take is potentially going to lose. Okay. So period, every trade that you take can lose. Okay. So with that in mind, you have to be able to say to yourself, especially as a beginner trader, you, you could you could go 10 losses in a row. And if you can go 10 losses in a row, does that mean you're losing all your money? Maybe it is, especially as a newer trader, you won't have any concept of risk management. Okay. So if you know, I, I, I cannot say where, where you are in your trading career, but in my opinion, you should not be starting to trade unless unless you have at the very least four figures. OK, so at, at the very, 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 very least, I would say four figures. OK, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, so I cannot really give you any uh, financial advice in that regards. But I can say from a personal perspective, I, I don't think there's any point in trading. Um if we're talking about it seriously, less than less than four figures. And, and let's be honest, it's not hard to to get four figures. So, um, you know, do it, do do some do some work <laughs> and you should be able to build it. So um, that's that's kind of what I would say. But the, the needed balance to start. I mean, yeah, you, you could jump in here and, and paper trade. So you could start trading with zero dollars. But um, I wouldn't recommend it. I, I think paper trading is a waste of time. So I do kind of feel, I, it's not a waste of time per se, but it is also a little bit of a, it is a little bit of a waste of time because of the facts that if you paper trade, you don't have any emotions. So as I've said many times, there's a difference between doing pretty charts and technical analysis and then actually putting money on the line. 
there's a big difference between the two. Uh, you can you can put on you know you can put these charts up, but then if you, if you if you put them money on the line and you become really scared, you know there's the whole the, there's all the emotions that come around trading, isn't there? So trading has a lot of emotions behind it. So um, you know paper trading, you don't have those emotions. So how can you really prepare yourself for real trading? So that's why I say if you want to start trading, you can do it with any any balance really. But I would say that if you were doing it serious, I, I would say at least four or five figures. Um, Daniel. Do you see price going to the 3.5 gap anytime soon? I mean, uh, I'm, I'm, so yeah, obviously we do have that gap down at 3.5K. Okay, not what I wanted to click on. We do have that gap down at 3,500. Uh, 3, okay, so you can see the gap here. Okay, 3,570 gap, which never got filled on the CME. So the question is, are we going to go and fill this gap? Uh, I mean... <laughs> The thing is, we need to trade it level to level. I, I, I would, my, my answer to your question is, why would you even be thinking about 3,500 while we're holding support here? There's no point in... Th like, even, even, the, even the thing is, I made a video about 1,800 Bitcoin. And obviously, that's a really bearish target. But people take, people take these things like just totally incorrect. Like, I, I, I'm in a short position, obviously, for a swing trade. So I'm swing short because I'm medium term bearish. But I'm not going to be shorting 9,600 and holding this to 1,800. You know, I've done that Elliott Wave count, but who cares, you know? I mean, I'm trading it level to level. So, yeah, the, ne the next, you know, you've got a few big levels, obviously, on the way down. But, uh, you know, what's the point in thinking about this gap while, while, while we're up near 10K? It's just pointless, isn't it? In my opinion, you know, I'm just trying to help you here. In my opinion, it's pointless. Don't get fixated on these lower numbers while we've got support, 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 support on the way down. I mean, before you even think about this level, you need to get through this level sort of thing. So, yeah, there's a gap at 3,500, but who cares, you know? Trade the chart, trade it level to level. That's that's kind of what I would um, suggest. Uh, from the from the harmonic point D, do you expect a later pu push up? I, I mean, I'm I'm pretty content with that harmonic that I had, so I'm pretty content with this harmonic, uh, not breaking past nine thousand eight hundred. Okay, at the very max. So obviously, I'm short from nine thousand six hundred for a swing. But uh, where am I? Where are we here? So yeah, obviously I am short nine six hundred. But um, you know, there's, there's there's the possibility that we break the high and push up to here. Okay, there's that possibility, but um, obviously with this with this drop down, <laughs> it's not looking so not it's not looking so probable anymore. But nevertheless, it's it's still probable, and I, and I'll and I'll be happy to maintain this perspective and until Monday open because I I wanted to see it push up really on Saturday Sunday, uh, because then we'd open uh, up with the gap to the downside, and then we would have that CME gap to also force us down. So that was my that was my perspective anyway. But you know. Um, thank you for the live stream. No worries at all, mate. Um, how do I manage my emotions? So really good question. And the truth of the matter is, uh, I've been, I've been doing this 10 years now. So nine, nine, 10 years I've been trading for. Um, so how do I manage my emotions? For me now, I have zero emotions in a trade. You know, I take a trade, I win the trade, I lose the trade. I do not fret about a loss. I do not get carried away with a win. Con contrarian to what people believe because of how I act on YouTube you know when I come and do a YouTube video and I start saying these things like oh look at me I'm the best trader uh, you might you might think oh this guy's like totally emotional but at the end of the day I execute my trades I take a win I take a loss honestly uh, I'm at a stage where I, I obviously I take more wins than I lose you know my win rate's good but I take losses you know I'm not going to deny I, that I don't take losses you know I take losses and I and I view a loss like you know what well, I've took took a loss here I was invalidated on my trade setup that happens in trading I'll move on to the next trade because I know that over time I'm going to win more than I lose so you know absolutely I take losses um but you know so how do so the question of how do I manage my emotions well the way that I manage my emotions is actually just at is is through time and experience so how do you get on top of your emotions and how do you manage your emotions honestly experience 
and being able to prove to yourself that you're a good trader. You know, if you are new into the game, then you're going to be very emotional because you're going to have a lot of emotional impact, firstly, on the money that you're using. And secondly, thinking to yourself, am I right? Am I wrong? You know, if you enter a trade and you're always thinking to yourself, oh my God, I need to check the charts. Is it going right? Is it going wrong? I mean, what's going on here? Like, there's all these things that are thrown through your mind. This is how I approach your trades. I look at the charts. I look for my technical analysis. I look for confluence. And then I say, is it likely? Is it not likely? If it's likely, I'll put on a trade. But guess what? I will put on an invalidation where I know that I am incorrect. So, you know, for example, I took a day trade long. Okay, so I did take a day, day trade long. Um, first fill was down at the monthly level. First, second fill was actually in the, this consolidation region, which gave me an average entry. Um, but, you know, where where would I know that I'm wrong? Well, if we lose support, I know that I'm wrong. So this 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 that's happening for me, this is not invalidating this, this long position, okay? So, you know, you might get somebody really uptight, emotional. I mean, even if I took a long on this, you know, even if I took a loss on this trade, you know, if this just does this, I'm not, I'm not going to care. <laughs> if I'm honest with you, I'm not going to really care well, I guess I'll care a little bit that I've took a loss on the trade, but at the same time, I'm still in my I'm still in my swing short, so I'm in that regards I'm a bit hedged. But uh, nevertheless, you know, um, I, I wouldn't wouldn't get emotional about it. I, I wouldn't care. And like, so how do I get to this stage of of being like almost like a robot, just entering trades, entering trades, entering trades? trades it's 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 consistency over time it's being able to prove to to not only you guys but to myself I, i've proved to myself that i can do this consistently over time and when i've proved to myself that i i, I can i can trade without emotions because i know i'm going to take a win i'm going to take a loss if i take a loss it's a loss who cares and you know i can i can move on to my next trade where i'm more likely to take a win okay obviously i can go through periods where i'll take a few losses in a row but i i know over time my strategy is is good and that's unlikely that I go on an extended loss streak. Although obviously possible because we are playing a game of probabilities. Um, wow, we are getting a lot of questions in here. It's beautiful to see everybody. It is absolutely lovely to see so many people and so many questions. Look at this. So I take a loss. Oops, I didn't try and play. 200 people. Oh, wow. How brilliant is that? How brilliant is that? That, that, is, that is lovely to see. 200 people on a live stream on a Saturday evening. Thank you so much. Um... Um, wow, there's so many questions. I'm not going to be able to answer them all. Let's, let's be honest. Uh, I guess I'll flick through the most relevant questions. So I'm not going to be on this stream for hours. Uh, I'll go through the most relevant questions or ones that are interesting. Um, uh, mm, 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 uh, Warbird looking for a move down to 1,500 before a increase. So you were looking, so basically you're looking for this, Bitcoin to move down to 1,500 uh, before moving up. So you're looking for something like this. I mean, yeah, that's possible. I, I would be slightly cautious with the close below here because then you have the option of doing something more like this which would obviously bring us to our bigger target. So I'd, I would be slightly cautious myself if we lose the monthly. I, I, would, I would be slightly cautious. Obviously, yeah, it's possible that we do something like that. Okay, and that means what would you be looking for? You'd be looking how you reclaimed that level. That, that's crucially important, how you reclaimed a level. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a decent plan. I, I, I mean... It's, 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 a, it's a decent plan. And I know that you're a good enough trader to to know how to recognize strength, how to recognize weakness, how to know where your invalidation is. So I, I know that you're good with your risk management and I've seen your wins. So I know how you need how I know how, that you know how to manage that trade. So I would say, yeah, it's a decent perspective. I, all I would question to yourself is think, where's your invalidation? If, if you're longing 9150, where, where are you wrong on that trade? OK, that just think think that to yourself and then and then remember, where's the liquidity? Um champion fam in the club what's up <laughs> um your spanish is bad yeah maybe it is bad but I, i'm not spanish so i'm not going to be offended by somebody saying my spanish is bad <laughs> to be honest with you I, I i speak i i can i can speak spanish and i can i can take your girlfriend if she's spanish so um that's enough for me um <laughs> would you recommend joining church champions right away as a newbie trader or studying some trading books first um 
I mean, we're currently so obviously I would, I would say you know go and read a training book. That's that's only going to be beneficial to yourself. So you know do some pre-study. App absolutely. Uh, we're currently making a beginner series, which is for beginners. So you could come into having zero technical analysis or skills and understand the charts and read the charts essentially. We're 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 aware that our content is is fairly fairly advanced. So. Um, we recognize that we've had feedback okay we obviously done a feedback form a while back and uh, a lot of the feedback was really 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 good by the way so thank you for for that i'll try and find it uh but yeah the feedback was was brilliant and yeah this was it but um you know a lot of the feedback was please can you do more basic stuff <laughs> so you know we we obviously read the feedback and appreciate that and so we're implementing that so we are making a beginner's course that you can understand as a newbie trader so uh yeah that, that's going to be coming in in i hope no more than a few weeks if i'm honest with you so uh yeah there's there's what i that's what i would say but absolutely read a trading book um um daniel why have you stopped using trend lines trend lines are very trend lines are very uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Arbitrary in regards 10 traders, 10 different trend lines. You know, I give you something like order flow. Uh, there's one statistic. <laughs> so it's it's this is not arbitrary in any way, shape or form. You know, this is just hard data. So I, I like to trade off of hard data, like Fibonacci hard data. You cannot misinterpret it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, What did I use to scan the UK market? So I'm a big fan of interactive brokers. This is a question that I'm asked quite a lot. I'll load up their website, interactive brokers. So this is what I use for stock trading for those interested. And I will just load up this so I can show you briefly. If it loads, no idea what's going on. I'm trying to click on it, but it's not loading. But basically it's... <laughs> It's called interactive brokers. This is what I, I prefer to use for stock trading. Um, oh, this is really funny. I, I have a call. So, shall we see if I can speak Spanish? Hola, guapa. ¿Cómo estás? Hello, amigo. ¿Qué tal? Pues muy bien. La verdad es que ahora mismo estoy, en un, estoy haciendo un live stream. Ah, uh, no. You see. Eh, la, la, uh, no, no, no. La, la gente no me creen que yo hablo español. Yo hablo español, sí o no. <laughs> sí. Te llamo arriba más tarde. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll call you in like um, 30 minutes or so. Uh, things I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be driving back home. Hey, uh, well, may, maybe I'll, I'll speak to you later or something then. Sorry. <laughs> Cheers. Bye. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think she was a. I think she was a bit embarrassed. She didn't really want to speak. It didn't seem like. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that was that was random. Uh, but yeah, interactive brokers. This is why you. I wanted. I wanted her to speak back to me in Spanish, but I think she was embarrassed. But uh, anyway. Yeah, interactive brokers. This is the website I use for stock trading. It's 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 good. I like it. I also I also am interested in trading two one two by the way. I like trading two one two. Look at that by the way. Getting that reaction. Uh anyway, let's I don't really want to go over this too much. Uh so what else have we got in here? For alerts, trading view, really simply. So you can see how like I got these alerts on. So I have an alert for if we break five nine five ninety. Okay, so I can really simply have an alert have an alert set. Okay, on trading view. <clears throat> um. <laughs> Can I give word on BCHBTC? I have no idea about BC. I do not trade Bitcoin Cash and I just refuse to even look at it. Um nothing personal i just i i refuse <laughs> um oh there is a lot of questions here uh i'm gonna try my best to get through them i will um 
Yes, we did have bearish CBD divergences. You're absolutely right, Nelson. And this is one that we were asked in the, uh, the group, the group, the group, the group. I'll show you about people discussing the various CDV divergences. Um, yes, here you go. So this is our champions live stream, uh, champions group, where people were recognizing through the teachings that we were in CVD divergences and absolutely they were all correct. Um, people in their short positions <laughs> and yeah, that, that was absolutely right. Better CVD divergences, there absolutely were. And as you can see, they, they did play out. So this is the thing. I was, I was kind of hoping they would play out so I could get this <laughs> next long position filled. So, um, yeah, this this lot this short for me was was this drop for me is is nothing. I was overly bad worried about. Um, so, uh, yeah, we did have various CVD divergences though. I just saw the question. Um, How long from when I started did it take me to become consistently profitable? The answer is really about about two, two and a half, three years for me to become from. And I, and I started from nothing. So I, I started from uh, yeah nothing, essentially, with, with my trading. Like I had no from not knowing what a ch chart was to being consistent in about three years, which I, which is pretty quick. But then I, I, I'm, I love self-teaching. So I self-teach myself every I pretty much I, I love to self-teach so uh I for instance Spanish and although people are, are hating on my Spanish right now I self-taught myself that I had no classes no teacher no mentor and I I went from not knowing what um not knowing what tu no puedes español tu no puedes tu no puedes hablar español tío to say si puedo hablarlo es que quiero decir Un gross. And yet I want to say something, but I'm probably not allowed on YouTube to say it. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, everything, you know, I self-taught myself trading as well. So, um, you know, I enjoy self-teaching, basically. And so, yeah, it took me about three years, but I'm, I'm a pr fairly swift learner. When I want to do something, I want to do it the best. So this is the thing. I also put in a lot of time and dedication. Um, I was thinking about doing this, doing like a, a, a vlog type thing, but I'm not sure whether I, I half of me wants to do a vlog and then the other half of me is like, uh, don't do a vlog because people are probably not so interested <laughs> in, in, in you showing about your life. So I don't know. I was debating doing a vlog. I don't know really whether my life is that interesting. Um, to be honest with you, like I wake up in the morning, I log onto my computer, I do some trades and I go to sleep. And my, my, if I'm totally honest, my life is, is not amazingly interesting, um, to be, to be, fr to be frank with you. So that's why I, I debated, you know, people are, some people are like, yeah, do a vlog, but it would just literally be me, be me sat on my computer. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't it wouldn't be too interesting. So I don't know. I I could I could do one, but um, a pretty interesting one I guess would be showing my new setup. So I have a new setup here, and I probably spent about twenty grand on this. So that would be pretty interesting. I got a whole new lighting, whole new desks. Um, yeah, this this setup's pretty beast now. What I'm buying next is some like hue lighting. So I'm generally pretty conservative with my money. Um, like I'm not I'm not a, like fancy guy, but you know, when I want to do something, I kind of just want to do it. So yeah, this this setup that I got now is pretty nice. Um, so I could go through this, and I love this thing that I got at the moment. I just bought this like thing called a Stream Deck, so I can now through like the touches of buttons go from, you know, do all these things, muting my mic, and just all of it from the touches of a button. You know, if I wanted to load up, uh, Filmora, for example press these buttons i don't know it's it's pretty it's kind of a waste it's kind of a waste of money it's not amazing i suppose but yeah um yeah that's what i've been going through that's what i've been done done, done recently bought a new set set up uh so yeah um i, I could do a live stream now something like that <clears throat> if you get too busy let me know i would have the help out my mouth <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, I, I would like that eagle. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> um, I use all of them. So the guy's saying, what do I use more? Elliott Waves, Harmonics, Chart, Patterns, Market Structure, Volume, Fibonacci. I mean, I use them all. So I'm not I'm not a guy that's going to say one's better than the other. Uh, it, it all comes down to uh, the, the, the night lights come on. You see this? Take that off. Because otherwise I look orange. And I want to look not orange. Um, but as I was going to say, um, you know, I use all the tools. So I'm not going to say one's better than the other. It, it comes down to the end of the day. You've not got to make your own trading strategy and work out what works for you. No worries at all. I'm happy to provide you the content. Real OG trader. <laughs> it is kind of like that. Uh, I wouldn't like to say I'm an OG trader, but... I guess I've been around longer than most people, <laughs> on, especially in crypto Twitter. Crypto Twitter is not, I think the average guy trading in Twitter is probably like three years. I think everybody started to trade what it seems like everybody, it, like everybody started their trading career in, in, in 2017. So it, that's what I, I get to, uh, my, my opinion anyway. Everybody started in 2017. They made money. They lost the money. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I've been trading longer than the majority of, in Twitter anyway. Um, Uh, people place so much emphasis on what sentiment is. Uh, what? How can you say this? For example, the majority are short now and it dumped. The majority are far long. The majority are far, far, far long. Look at the statistics. That You cannot say the majority are short at the moment. Definitely. They, they, the majority are, are far hate favoring upside. 448 million longs versus negative 333 million shorts. This is far, far many, far more, far, far, far more longs. <laughs> so yeah, you're, you're, I'm not sure where you're getting to your statistics, but they're, they're incorrect. More people are long at the moment. So, um, you know, that, that's what I'm going to say on that. Um <laughs> How do I draw a Gartley pattern? Well, this this Gartley was really simple. This was a brilliant Gartley. And I, I don't even need to like hype myself about this Gartley anymore. I don't even need to hype it because I killed it, didn't I? So obviously when we were looking at the original drop, uh, this was around our 786, back up to around a 786, and we're looking for the come down here. Okay, so does it happen? Mm, we, we, it's debatable, isn't it? It's, there's still the possibility of this next push to the upside, which would then give you your harmonic like this. Um... So it's debatable whether that's going to happen at the moment. If we lose monthly support, it's, it's pretty. I'd say it's pretty more likely that the highs in. But um, let's take it level to level, see how it goes. Um, but yeah, essentially, I was looking. It's a combination of fibs and time. Uh, did you see the rocket lift off? Yeah, I did. I did watch the SpaceX rocket lift off. That that was pretty insane. Uh, it was pretty insane, you know. I, I I watched it and I was I was amazed by it. Yeah, that was amazing. Um. Yeah, stop. The <laughs> My team know why I bought nine nine four seven two seven. I I, I followed through and I done it. Um, I'll try I'll try and show you what I have here for you. A second. Just need to log in here. Um, no, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show that, actually. No, I, I better not. Um, da -da 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 -da. Let's see what else we have here. That's why there's so many questions. It's, it's pretty hard. I'm not. How do people normally manage this? If, if you're a, if you're a live streamer, how do you, how do people manage all these questions? This is insane. <laughs> um, I use soft stop losses about three years so my my the way that i use stop losses is is soft stop losses because i'm a big fan of swing failure patterns and i would not get stopped on a swing failure so i either give myself wide slash stop soft stop losses oh you'll never see me trading with a tight stop loss okay so for example i'm guarantee you some people would have done this trade some people would have longed there with their stop loss below that low and they would have done this okay i would never ever 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 give myself a stop loss like that okay um i'd be much more favoring something like this okay 
because of the fact wide stop loss wise or soft stop loss okay and also with the perspective that you would get that drop down through the lows before back up so we're looking at at the potential of this it might not happen but again probabilities game we're looking at the probabilities of that of it taking that and now and now back up so it's kind of what i'm looking for if i'm honest <laughs> um <clears throat> How do I differentiate between a real breakout and a fake out? Open interest, footprint statistics, delta statistics. Essentially, how I'm how I'm uh, uh, watching it. <clears throat> Hi Dan. Uh, so the next question here. Hi Dan. Uh, oh yeah. By the way, you're you're welcome, Warbird. Uh, Hi Dan. Just made it for the live stream. How long does it take? On average, uh, for people to become profitable trader, how long did it take you? What is the success rate of people who join Chart Champions? So, really nice question. Um, how long it took? It took me about three years, more or less three years, to to be consistent where I could go full time trading. Because I, I didn't start full time. Obviously, I didn't start full time trading. I, I had a I had another job. Okay, so I've not been a trader all my life. Uh, so I. But for me to go full time trading, where I was able to make enough income to just just trade and have no other job. Uh, yeah, three years. Um, the next question: How long? So that yeah. And uh, what's the success rate of people who join Chart Champions? Well, we ha we have obviously. I'm not going to say everybody that joins become becomes a, a millionaire. Obviously, it's very dependent on yourself. I offer you some of the best trading education that you can find. I offer you everything that I trade with. I offer you all the knowledge. That does not just because I office offer this educational service does not necessarily mean that you're going to become a millionaire. You have to put in the time yourself okay so i can give you the tools and then with those tools you can make yourself profitable but i cannot make you profitable if that makes sense you have to put in some of the effort i cannot just say this is the formula go and trade you have to take the formula understand the formula execute the formula <clears throat> so the success rate is pretty good okay so the success rate is pretty good uh from people that um, you know, are understanding, learning, for instance, we'll come across to the Bitcoin challenge. You see a lot of people with, you know, people in here will post wins and losses, but the majority of people are all doing well. Like this is doubling accounts. Okay. So like doubling accounts, massively increasing accounts, you know, uh, obviously this is the one that I done last week, but you know, people are doing well and it, it shows, it shows. So obviously this was some of the feedback that I received a few days ago. Um, you know, uh, being a great week of trading, time to relax. Uh, another guy saying that it's it's been a good week of trading. This guy, best week of trading he's ever had. So I mean, clearly it kind of shows you put in the you put in the effort, and you can make it. But if you don't put in the effort, you cannot expect to just join and make money. Essentially, you are going to have to put in some work. And I'm not going to say that I'm uh, you know going to make you <laughs> make you profitable if you don't put in any work. Um, yep. <laughs> you know it <laughs> you know it no way mate I, who who, <laughs> who cares about this all i'm saying is if <laughs> bank, my bank <laughs> i'm not even gonna say it. um <laughs> not even i'm not even gonna flex with that um you know what i'm, I'm gonna actually just do this I'm not. Shall I? Shall I? Shall I block? I'm not sure whether. I'm not sure whether it's a good a good thing to just block or. Um, you know, he seems like a hater. I'm. I'm just going to do it. So let's just hide the guy. Um, <laughs> but I would. I would. You all know that I would still Ali Khan's. You, you. You know, I probably would. Um, will you still do me a favor and come over and speak Spanish? <laughs> No, John, I cannot do that. You're, you're, you're amazing. I believe this is, yeah, this is, I met John in, in uh, London. Good guy. And I'm not taking, I'm not taking it. I, I'm sorry, I can't do that to you, mate. <laughs> yeah, I do need to, I do need to, to, to cut my hair. Let's, let's be honest. Um, oh, there, there is so many more questions. I'm going to do this for five more minutes and then I'll wrap it up. Um, any thoughts about Ethereum? I'm 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 thinking Ethereum has another two about two percent to go to up to the monthly. So I'm looking for another little rise on Ethereum. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
um it's the same value everyone has I think, yeah this is the thing but <laughs> every lo loads of people have different elliott wave counts i understand that but the majority have no idea what they're doing with their elliott wave counts if i'm brutally honest the, the standard of elliott waves on twitter is very 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 low so yeah you you see 10 different counts but eight of them are are are, are, are plainly incorrect um uh roughly the same so my well, actually I, it's, it's a bit better if i'm honest in in cryptocurrency so i i i do actually trade with a higher win rate in in bitcoin than i do than i did in in stocks but now i just swing trade stocks i don't don't day trade stocks anymore but yeah definitely i'm i would say my win rate's higher in bitcoin I'm, I, I don't know why but it's just it's just really yeah it's pretty good um <clears throat> Um, yes, I do use GAN. I like the GAN. I use the GAN squares and I use the GAN fibs. Um, so yes, I do do that. Will you teach me how to trade ranges? Yes, I teach range. I teach this in the group, but that's obviously over the course of several hours uh, in the course. CVD stands for cumulative volume delta. I'm not going to look at Cardano. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Um, hasta la vista. <laughs> um, um, I'm just going to remove everybody. Actually, I don't know whether I should be the guy that just blocks everyone. You can say what you want for the rest of the people. Um, according to that pattern, we go down it. Yes, it is a bearish Gartley, but there, there might be one more push to the upside. Um, Yes, it was through a lot of videos, textbooks, and basically trial and error. So going through the charts, trading the charts, seeing where I was wrong. When I took a loss, I would study why I took that loss and then improve upon it. So a lot of trial and error on my behalf. Um, uh, I have just, I've just bought a, this is not what I've got set up at the moment, but I've just bought a DSLR to do the webcam. But... Um, this is currently a this is a brio logitech logitech brio uh but i want to get a um well this is this is meant to be 4k video so but it, i think a dslr is just going to work better but i just i struggle to understand how to set it up i got i have a dslr but i don't really understand i need to i need to yeah i need to do some time on that but it's not at the forefront of my attention if i'm totally honest with you um have I shorted theta? No, I have not shorted theta. It's down six percent, but I have I don't I don't short there. So I I, I, I have not shorted it. I but I don't short the altcoins really. Um, I trade the uh, inverse perpetual. And I think that might be about it. Um, yes, I am still trying, planning to do the crypto villa. This is why I sold a lot of my spot Bitcoin at 10K because I wanted that money for other investments. Um, so yes, that is still planned. Um, and I think that is about it then. Yeah, I'm gonna call that a night. Uh, so yeah, there, this was a quick stream. There are some other questions, but I'm gonna I I kind of want to go and make that phone call. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna call it a night. I hope that you have enjoyed this quick one. Maybe maybe I'll do another one soon. Uh, and we'll try and make it a bit. I'm not sure how long this has gone on for. 50 minutes. Yeah, it's quite long. I'm going to call it a night. I hope that you've enjoyed this one and you understand what I'm looking for here on the short term. Okay, so I was kind of wanting to see this take that low and then push back up. Obviously, if we reject from here, if this now acts as resistance and we come back down below monthly, I'll just close out of that long for, long for a loss and be happy to just maintain within that short. So I'm a little bit hedged at the moment, if I'm totally honest. So, um, 
that's not a bad thing but yeah i'm, I'm a little bit hedged so um yeah i'll see how the rest of this weekend goes hope this has been insightful and which is gracias <laughs> cheers everybody thanks and have a good evening bye